Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, the wrap up. Um, which just filling pens, so <laughs> stuff. Anyway, this is where we take a look back at the inks that I used, call out any favorites or least favorites, etc., etc. So I, as a reminder, I was using this notebook with Tomoe River paper in white, my Hobonichi Weeks with Tomoe River paper in cream, and this uh, Endless Notebook with the Regalia paper in a mostly white. So because I haven't done this, I'm going to page through uh, the transcription project so you can see each of these. Um, not for long, but you know. So this is Organics, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Lots of Sheen, Octopus Fluids Pebble Stone, Sailor Yurameku Yoi, Troublemaker Moon River, Sailor Yurameku Amamo Yoi, Octopus Fluids Aubergine, Wearing Goal White Rabbit, and Aurelium Common Loon Black, Wearing Goal Pride and Prejudice. Uh, I thought I'd call out. Hopefully, you can see how much sheen there is, even in the writing. Octopus Foods, Sepia Schwartz, Schwartz, hmm. I tried, Diamond Wistful Watermelon, Ferris Wheel Press Pumpkin Patch, Andorillium Flapjack Octopus Orange, Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss, Andorillium Colossal Squid Dark, Monarca Monglar, Octopus Fluids Orange, Krishna Sindhur, yep, <clears throat> Van Diemen's Honeybee Eater Chin, Monarca Ray Jaguar, try and see the shimmer in there, it's not over the top, it's more subtle, Andorillium Cuttlefish Brown, Monarca Arena Blanca. Troublemaker Mongo. Lamy Petrol. At this point, I'd like to compare it to Andorillium Colossal Squid Dark and point out they're pretty close. Uh, Wearing Ghoul Metamorphosis. Krishna Got Green, Got Green, sorry. Octopus Fluids, Karibik. Ferris Wheel Press, Edwards Gardens. Showing almost no shimmer at all and very little sheen. Sailor Yurabeku Itezora. And... Wearing gold Jane Eyre. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And here's a look at the final finished calendar. The funny thing is the page that I missed, I think was in here. Maybe it was between these two. But still funny that, anyway. Here's this, and then the daily ones are here. You can see the weeks that we had. This week was a thing that happened, and then this one was too. And this one was gorgeous. Right on. 
So, standout inks. We'll start with the ones that I will not be seeking out again. And we'll limit it to five. Can we do that? Play along at home. See if you want to guess the five on here that I was like about. So, Troublemaker Moon River is at the top of that list. The rest of the list will be in no particular order. This one, no thank you. This was just not good for me. Uh, Warringal White Rabbit. Monarca Arena Blanca. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put Pebblestone on that list. Though, of those four, this was actually fairly legible on white paper. And the fifth one, I'm going to say Mongo because I don't like, it looks all splotchy. Uh, you look at that writing, it's just funky. And yeah, so even though there are others here where they're obviously not my favorite color, they were still great inks. Um, I did kind of a lot of oranges. If we exclude Centaur for being more red, my favorite would be Pumpkin Patch because it has nice shading. But Centaur is pretty nice. Honeybee Eater Chin is a really legible yellow, which was nice. Um, anyway, those are my five meh. So my five favorites. Well, Cutty Beak, loved it. Lamy Petrol, of course. Um... Metamorphosis. I can't include Petrol without including Colossal Squid Dark because they're very similar. And then for the fifth one, I think it's probably Monglar. Um, yeah, this one kind of surprised me. To me, it is a green ink, but like just enough blue going on to make it more interesting to me. But uh, there are a lot of really good ones. I liked Yoi a lot. Um, Aubergine is pretty, but I found it. I liked it on the Tamora River paper. I did not like it in here. All of the watery inks, um, I did not like on this paper. It felt like, like the paper was just drying up the nib as I wrote. It was a very unpleasant to me feeling. Um, Pride and Prejudice is beautiful, but I think the reason it's not on my list is because I have others kind of like it. Though, how can I, like, I just picked like five teals. So, no, I picked Metamorphosis, four teals. Uh, Edward's Gardens is fine, I guess, but I'd rather have Emerald of Shavor or even Monarcha Cenote, which are similar, or Color vs. Cat, which is a little bluer. Anyway, um, so that was our month. I felt like, for the most part, I did a pretty good job picking the pen to go with the ink. So knowing, starting to learn some of my pens that, that like, oh, this writes more juicy so I should use this like it has a really good flow I should use that with um one of these drier inks so I found that good uh I found like hey I'm learning uh, I'll page through to this so there's Moon River where exactly here's Pebblestone so 
one of the problems is it's just on this cream paper not showing up well. And I journal at night on a Hobonichi, in a Hobonichi Cousin. And the paper is more like this color. So anything that is going to be, you know, make that harder to read, I'm going to not love. And see, look, what do I mean by the Mongo? I don't know. Maybe it needed to be shaken. I'm not sure. But it... It's writing. It doesn't look like shading. It looks like blotchiness. It looks like freckles, kind of. But, oh, this candy beak is so beautiful. Will I buy, be buying any of these inks? No. Not at this time. I feel like I have a lot of inks. And I'm feeling pretty good with what I've got. Uh, I've got my eye on... The, um, the two new Diamine foam pen subreddit inks. But even those, I'm, eh, I don't know, I don't know. And one of the new 50 States inks is gorgeous. I will be doing a giveaway of all the samples I used, except for Lamy Petrol. So look for that um, coming soon. Probably that'll go up mm, in the middle of the month and then people will have till maybe the end of the month or a week or something to comment and enter. I'll include, I'll make a video for that and include details and so on and so forth. But I hope you enjoyed this month's 30 Inks 30 Days. Um, I had a blast and I'm sure June will be here before I know it and a new 30 inks, 30 days will begin. For now, that's it. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.